Sawadee so Krap, it's Thursday, January 23. I'm JP Mistanza, and this is Puket Extra, brought to you by PSD Windows and Doors. Let's start with our top story. More details are emerging in the aftermath of Wednesday's arrest of the headmaster of a temple school who admitted to robbing a gold shop in Lopuri province less than two weeks ago in which he killed three people, including a two-year-old boy, making off with 500,000 baht worth of gold. 38-year-old Prasichi Shai Kaukeo confessed to being the man behind the murderous gold heist at a Robinson department store in which four people were wounded and saw a two-year-old and two others killed by gunfire on January 9th. The gunman said he regretted killing the child who was shot as he walked past the store with his own mom. The other victims were a security guard and a shop employee. The gunman claimed he accidentally shot the gold shop employee, but instinct told him to shoot customers in the shop, which he says he also regretted, and that he had his father's gun at the scene using a silencer because he, quote, didn't want to frighten people. Meanwhile, after he had originally told police that he dropped in a nearby river, all 31 gold necklaces stolen in the robbery, leading to an eight-hour search that turned up nothing, but overnight, Prasiti Chai told police that the gold was actually hidden in a hollow strut under the roof of his father's house in Loburi, which was found early this morning. Police say that an informant led to the arrest of Prasiti Chai on Wednesday, and while authorities would typically go through a reenactment with the suspect at the scene of the crime, the reenactment has been canceled. Prasiti Chai, who says his motive was simply financial, he's been charged with murder, robbery, and using a weapon in public, among other charges. The 10-year-old Chinese boy suspected of carrying the Wuhan flu, who had been quarantined since his plane arrived from the Chinese city on Tuesday night, he's now being confirmed that he has tested negative for the virus and will rejoin his parents today. The chief of the Phuket Provincial Health Office, the PPHO, Danit Samkel, is confirming the news of the boy's status, saying he simply has the regular flu and is leaving Vashida Phuket Hospital today. The boy landed in Phuket on a direct flight from Wuhan on Tuesday, traveling with his parents on a group tour, and officials at the airport identified the boy's elevated body temperature upon landing. No one else on the flight exhibited any signs of infection, according to Chief Danit. Meanwhile, regarding the World Health Organization set to decide later today whether to declare the Wuhan coronavirus outbreak a world health emergency, Chief Danet said that any such declaration would make no difference to the efforts by health officials in Phuket to prevent the virus from arriving on the island. Any suspect of having been infected can call the PPHO Disease Control Division at the number below. Phuket City Police are searching for two men who reportedly robbed a woman staffer at a restaurant in Rasada, allegedly making off with a lottery ticket that entitled, entitles the bearer to 200,000 baht. Police were notified of the incident, which is reported to have taken place at a restaurant in Rasada. 47-year-old Pontip Chanchaksu told police that about at 11.30 p.m. on Monday, she went to lock the storeroom when a man who was hiding in there grabbed her, dragged her in the room, and a second man showed up. They violently hit her, then bound her hands and feet and gagged her in the mouth with a cloth. The woman's shoulder bag was stolen, containing cash and a phone and a lottery ticket from the January 17th National Lottery. Hours later, at about 5.30 a.m., the woman says she managed to untie herself and look for her belongings, noticing that the robber stole the cash and the lottery ticket, number 456371, which was the winning ticket for the second prize of the lottery, draw, entitling the bearer 200,000 baht. At this stage, police are attempting to track down the robbers, although Pontip was unable to give a clear description of the attackers, saying it was too dark to see them clearly. And police declined to confirm whether Pontip had any substantive proof that she was in possession of the winning ticket before the robbery. Pokedex, you'll be right back after this. Welcome back to Phuket Extra. The owner of an inter-island ferry is agreeing to compensate the owner of a pickup truck that slid off the boat and into the sea. The vehicle rolled off the ferry at the Koyao Center and into the Andaman Sea after the boat left the island in Pangya for Phuket on Wednesday. It sank and remains on the seabed. Phuket Marine Office Chief Wiwa Chichawang said the ferry owner, whom he did not name, has agreed to pay the truck owner, who also was not named. The pickup truck owner did not apply the handbrake after parking it on the ferry at Goyao, according to officials, while the boat crew also failed to secure it to the deck with ropes. A buoy is now attached to the car, warning all boats to keep clear. 
Following the first turtle nest of the season hatching at Daimuang Beach on Sunday, another 49 eggs hatched on Tuesday from a second nest laid on Bodan Beach, also in Taimuang. The chief of the Phuket Marine Biological Center, the PMBC, Gongkia Kitiwatanawong, confirmed the news today, saying the baby turtles hatched from a nest of 101 eggs laid on the beach back on November 27th. The eggs were not moved, with officers assigned to watch over them the entire time. The first six turtles hatched around 7.30 p.m. on Tuesday, as officials kept watch over them until the last baby turtle broke through its shell and headed across the sand and into the sea at about 11.30 p.m. Still, 28 of the hatchlings were very weak and taken into care by Phuket Marine Biological Center until they're strong enough to be released into the sea. And that's it for today's Phuket Extra, brought to you by PSD Windows and Doors. For safe, secure, and soundproof windows, visit pvcphuket.com. From all of us here at the Phuket News Center, thank you for watching, and stay up to date with everything at thephuketnews.com. Until tomorrow, stay classy, Phuket. Phuket's rapid modernization has made it one of the world's premier holiday destinations. Investors can still buy quality condominiums for as low as 75,000 US dollars and luxury properties can go all the way up to 20 million. Condominiums in Phuket are a safe, secure bricks and mortar investment offering foreigners freehold ownership. Call or email Thai Residential. Phuket's number one trusted real estate advisor to find your perfect Phuket property.